Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. So, we are in Snowmageddon 2018. The um, snow is coming down really hard. We got uh, about six to seven inches last night, overnight, and I woke up to this this morning. And um, I'm out riding the roads. It is about 9.30 in the morning. Uh, just seeing what's out and about see if anybody's stuck follow my channel you know that uh, this is pretty much a tradition with me do it every year <clears throat> every time it snows I um, go out and see if I can help anybody get uh, get around and get out if they're stuck and uh, we got fortunate this year because the snowstorm hit on a Sunday night so most people were home anyway where the problem comes into these snowstorms is when it happens you know on a thursday midday coming in and everybody's trying to scramble to get home from work and things like that but usually when they hit on the weekends a little less uh, eventful as far as people being stuck or anything like that and um it uh not as bad so but and it's plus a sunday morning uh, pretty early and uh, not a lot of people out and about. I've seen a few people driving and mostly just state uh, workers that are trying to clear the roads and stuff like that. It's still coming down. They've adjusted the snowfall. Not sure exactly what we're going to wind up with um, and it's supposed to taper off later this evening but it's we're supposed to start getting some freezing rain and things like that which can make it a lot worse for road conditions I don't care what kind of four-wheel drive you've got uh, how capable it is um, nothing really goes good on ice unless you've got some really good tires that uh, are designed with uh, studs and even then it's a little hanky at times uh, chains are pretty good um, things like that but if you're not prepared I wouldn't get out on the anything with ice but uh, Anyway, it's beautiful out here and awful quiet, and I'm just out riding around, thought I'd share with you guys. And I'm actually uh, testing out my Geolander uh, GO3 tires, my Yokohama tires, and they're doing great so far. Hadn't really had a chance to test them, test them, uh, other than just normal driving in the snow. And um, so far, so good. They uh, have done real well up and down some eh, fairly steep hills. I'm actually going to do another video. There's a pretty steep hill uh, on the near my house. Um, I went the opposite direction, and I'm going to usually uh, uh, I usually film on that hill testing tires in the snow because it is pretty steep grade and it's a secondary road that normally the uh, state hadn't gotten to yet most most of the time and right now i'm sure they're just trying to keep up with the main roads but with it coming down um, like it is they're having to go back on the main roads more so the hidden secondaries so if i had to guess it'll be uh no uh no uh sorry guys lost my train of thought i saw somebody standing in the yard uh, it'll probably be uh no one has uh, cleared it and should be pretty thick and deep and that'll give me a good idea of how these tires uh, are going to perform uh, with something like that but uh, anyway just thought I'd share with you guys and I'm going to do some other videos like I did last year uh, throughout the snow if I do a recovery trying to get somebody out I'll try getting that on film too for you guys but anyway guys snowmageddon 2018 it's uh, like I said it's beautiful out here and it's uh, still coming down. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you uh, would, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And also, if you would, share our content. It helps us get the word out about Guns and Gear Network. And that's greatly appreciated. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.